Hey look, a Ganyu banner. To be completely honest, I forgot entirely that there was gonna be new banners, and I also did not watch the live stream for like the first time in a while, even though it was the 3.0 live stream I was playing Tower of Fantasy. So I had no idea Ganyu was making a comeback, and this garbage fish, so obviously I'm not going to roll on this banner. She's good, dude. She's Electro Buffter, a Dendro Buffter. She's alright now. No, I don't care. I want Ganyu. Why do I want Ganyu? Because I have Shen and I want to use Shenha. I have 36 summons. If I get Ganyu, I will have mixed feelings. If I get another five star, which I don't know if Hainari is on there yet. I don't know if I can lose a 50-50 to him. Even if I can't, it's all right. I still have him. Yeah, okay, so he's not on there. That's fine. I want one Dory. If I get Dory, I will stop. I have 30 summons. That's three chances at Dory, hypothetically. I should get her because, you know, one in three chance because there's three four stars and say I hit the four star every single time, get the one. It's a lower chance than that. I can get lucky, right? I've done that before. It's fine. So here we go. All right, four star. I'm not going to skip, obviously, because Dory is the character I want the most. Not more than Ganyu is better, but I would prefer to get Kusanali. Well, there you go. That was a success, I'd say. I am tempted to keep going, but at the same time, I, uh, kind of don't want to. Now that we've actually gotten the character, it's time that we find out what she does. That's the order I do things in because I am clinically insane. All right, what's, what's the idea here? What do you do? That does that. By the way, oh, Zack Sword, wonderful. Uh, you are pretty much guaranteed, and the only thing her normal attacks are good for is getting to see the little ball float around. So yeah, that does like no damage. Put the ult, put this, Put this, put this, use E. You know, cooldown is like seven seconds now because each one of those little balls can proc that passive that decreases the ult timer. Um, and what I'm seeing is that Dory doesn't really do anything except heal, which Kugi Shinobu can do that more, cons much more consistently. Her healing might not be as much, but it's up all the time. Now you don't necessarily need that, but you also don't need much healing either. And um, Bennett is just better. For example, in this team, you'd be thinking, oh, you need an electro healer. No, you have enough electro anyways. Fischl is one of the best electro pliers in the entire game. So is Yai Miko and so is Raiden Shogun. So you have a lot of options, especially because official was free and she's not very hard to get because she's a four star that's been on the standard banner has been out since release basically what i'm trying to say is that dory is bad from what i saw they made her look all flashy and great with that little demo with all the reactions she did but it was really just Lisa. Believe it or not, Lisa was carrying the entire team there. I hate to say it, not really. It's kind of funny, but Lisa was carrying the entire team because she stacked Elemental Mastery and then she got the aggravate damage and was proccing Electro very, very fast with her ult, which doesn't have terrible scaling. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I would do one more 10 pull. I'm really tempted to, but I know I'll just get Ganyu and then ruin my pity, my 10 pity. That's about it. Bye.